Welcome back everybody. Um, I thought I'd get this video together actually, get my so-and-so together because I looked at that video I did the other day. It was the first one of the Scottish um, trips and it looked absolutely flat. Okay some of it I was happy with but the intro was awful and um, I had a little chat with myself and I thought, self I said, get off your slouchy arse get more enthusiastic and go to work and so I decided to do that. So today I decided to make a video uh, which was a project which I was going to work on way back in the summer but was working on uh, the bikes. This is connected to the bikes so I'm going to run through it with you. Um, it's all to do with this trailer which I purchased. You'll see it in the video I thought I'd put this one together so that you could see how I did it. It's just a question of extending the draw bar on the trailer. So have a look, hope you enjoy it. Any remarks, any comments, you know the drill, click down below and I'll be back later. This is the plan. A couple of months ago I bought this trailer. It doesn't look like a trailer now because it's all in bits, but that's the main body and this bit as you can obviously see is the tow hitch just here there is a winch <clears throat> just there and that winch if I go and get it well there it is down there that you can see it this slot on the actual tow bar the draw bar and that trailer uses that winch and it pulls up that dolly where the front wheels go in front wheels is only one wheel bird brain the front wheel goes in the dolly and you winch that up just bear with me up the whole trailer and the bike can be done or it can be loaded by one man which is brilliant the idea is this trailer can go on the back of Billy there so the idea is is to extend this because if I take these out I don't know if I can do this with one hand probably can't I'm going to put you in a pod this comes off it's only held on my two 14 mil bolts I'm getting in the shot, sorry guys, but just bear with me. This comes off. We can put that on the bench for a while. <clears throat> Hang on, I'll be back. Now because the winch sits there, I've got no room to put the jockey wheel on, which I bought. This clamps with a few other U-bolts. It clamps on there. Well, of course, I can't put them on. Just won't work. So the idea is, is to get a bar, same gauge bar as that, and extend it. Now, I won't extend it a great deal. I'll just extend it enough so it'll probably give me enough room to clamp that on there and then put a new tow hitch on there which will bolt onto this um, extended bar. Now here's the big question. I don't believe, I don't know, but I don't believe that there's any laws saying I can't do this. Um, effectively the, the trailer will be probably about another maybe two foot long in some ways reversing with Billy will be good because that will make it easier to see hopefully he says <clears throat> but we'll see how we go with this that's the general idea my first task is to measure up where I'm going to drill me holes on here the second big task is to do the measuring up for the side hole and then when I've got all that done I shall clean this bar up this extension tube 
and then I shall mark out where I'm going to put my jockey wheel which will be there somewhere along there and then probably cut some of that off and put the new tow hitch socket on there that's quite easy because the holes will already be on the the tow hitch socket and I can just mark it drill it and then put the bolts through this is the tricky bit because to a degree you're working blind but I'm going to measure it up and we'll see how we go I've got an idea of what we're going to where we're going to mark it but I need to clean it all up here put some engineering blue on there or well, in this case a black felt tip a marker and then start measuring right what I've done here guys I've used this piece of sheet aluminium, it's only one mil thick, clamped it to there, allowed for the one mil thickness. <clears throat> and what I've done, this is 50 in width, and I'm taking that one mil thickness, built that into the measurement, so I've got 26, and then I'm going to scribe a line. which is my center line <clears throat> and now I need to measure from where that butts up against this weld how far that way carry that center line across and then where the two intersect should be my center point for drilling that's the plan let's see if it works <clears throat> so I'm going to bring that on It's a little bit iggledy pickledy wobbly there, but it'll be enough. Just see my centre line. And now I need to measure how far in from where that stops on the weld to the centre of the hole. So that stops here. So I'm going to mark that. I don't know if I can get in there with that. Let's see if we can do it with a with a marker. Yeah, that's enough. It's enough for what I need. So I take that out. Then I'm going to go. And this bit is probably a little bit by eye. From there to there which is probably going to be uh, 16 mil. Now there's going to be a little bit of play with the bolt, so I've got a little bit of wriggle room there, but that's where we are. So if we go 16 mil from this butt here to there, take it across, that's going to be my marker for drilling I hope <laughs> I don't know if you can all see that let me take you off the pod a minute I don't know if it'll come out on this camera very well but there's a line across there might be able to see it there it is you just about see it just there it doesn't auto zoom very well this camera it could be me probably is me not knowing how to get the best out of it you just see my lines there you go so that should be my point drill the hole and then once we get one in there we should be able to use the guide on the inside of this one to drill through the other one on the other side of this tube right so what I've done drilled the hole let's see what we got
See if that bolt goes down in there. Excellent. <coughs> right. This is good. That hole's more or less smack bang on. It's a little bit bigger, but that's fine. So what I need to do now is turn it over and do exactly the same. That way, the opposite hole should line up with this hole and the bolt should go straight through. Let's see how we go. <coughs> Don't know if you can see that, folks. Let's get a bit closer. There we are. Drilled the second hole, made it slightly smaller. Let's see, if we, see how we go. Need the bolt. That goes right the way through, and the nut does up on the other side, which is excellent. <coughs> so that's the first part. Second part is going to be a little bit more tricky, I do believe. Right, back in the workshop after some lunch. What I've done, guys, I've done the same as what I've done on the earlier bits with the holes on the side, I've centralised them across the 50mm bar and I've taken that down to the centre of that hole which is approximately, I think it was 68. 68, let me just check. 58, yeah, and that's, as you can see, that is more or less I'd say center of the hole <coughs> I've drilled this one out I did use my step drill on this one it just is so much better for cutting into this material so now I've done that side and the bolt goes through there I need to do the other side I've already put my engineering blue it's my engineering blue other felt tips are available <laughs> So now I need to unclamp it, turn it over, and there's my centre pop for that side. So I clamp it to the bench. I'm going to use a very small drill just to get it started. And then we'll go onto the stepper. I'm going to set a pop that a bit hunger. That's better. Do my own job getting in your own light. Have a quick look, yeah, bang on. There's nothing worse than it wandering off the hole. There it goes. Now we've got a pilot hole, you can start going up in sizes. Drills not very good. Now I'll start using my stepper. I'm gonna get the other one. There's another one they do which is wider again. It'll be so useful.
And I'm pretty sure that's going to line up with the other side, but we'll see. <coughs> well, the bolt goes through. Let's unclamp it. So now I'm going to take you guys across. Yeah, let's see. Got both bolts. And a swarf on the inside. Just clean that swarf off a minute. I don't know if you can see that in there, guys. I'm going to get a foil in there. That should go on there better. And it does. So here's the big test. We know that one goes through, but will this one go through? Might need a little bit of deburring on there. Let's have a look. Let's give it a tap. slightly off just a fraction <clears throat> I'll fold that out in fact what we could do is open that one up a little bit yeah right so what I've done I've opened this one up a little bit just to get it through it's on the rear so we've got loads of meat there so we should be all right got old friend Sydney Swarf back there causing a problem put him in look at that that bolt's a bit too big but that's not a problem so there we have it Spanner will do them up. <clears throat> hmm. Not so that is there. Get a deep nineteen. Here 
we go. So there we have it. The extension, as far as the marking out and drilling is concerned, is complete. Ah, there's the washer. Now we're running out of light, folks, and I'm on the wrong side of the workshop to get that light. The only light I've got is what's coming through the front door. So bear with me. 14 mil. Fifteen. Is it fourteen? No, it's not fourteen. What size that is then? Yeah, 17. Hmm, don't need that. Okay. Just a temporary fit, just to check it. Jockey wheel goes in there. So that gives me a load more space. Might even bring that further back there. Just put the tone hook, hitch on there, save chopping the bar. Sorry if you can't see it very well folks. As I said we're all running out of light. <clears throat> but that's the general idea. The idea of doing all this is that one of the guys in the last video can't remember his name um, he corrected me on the road I was on but he also said next time I said it was um, a great road for bikes and I think you all agree it probably is but he also said maybe next time on the Z obviously meaning the Z1 um, I don't know about that but it could well be at some point a bike because the whole object here is to be able to tow a bike behind the motorhome. So we park the motorhome up somewhere and then go off touring on the bike. Now, lots of people would say, oh, well, what's the point? What's that? But the idea is, is that you can see more on the bike. You can see a lot from the motorhome, don't get me wrong. And you've got everything, home is on wheels. But touring around Scotland on a bike, you're not going to beat that. You're just not going to beat it. So that's the plan. Whether or not I shall ever pull that plan off remains to be seen. But this is what this is all for. <clears throat> Let's see how we go. So that's where I'm going to put it. Um, 
I may cut this back at a later date but I'm going to see how it fares on this um, at this length should be right let's see how we go we need to put the bolts in I think I'm going to have to change shutter speed on this camera, guys, to allow for the to allow for this flicker. We're probably getting low to flicker on that. There we are. Any of you guys know how to stop that from an LED spotlight? Do put it in the comments down below because it's driving me nuts. I'm going to see if I can change the hertz. I did it yesterday. No, what did I do? I changed the shutter speed as well. Let's just go back. I need to clamp that down there. So I could do is take those lines round to that side and centre pop it. I'm gonna have to take that line round anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna take them round. Let's go and get my square. What I'm doing here, chaps, is just lining it up so that when I scribe across the actual bar, um, I can take that line round to the other side using my square. It's a bit tedious, but it plays in the long run because the data point, as far as the pot marks concerned, will be opposite each other, one side to the other, if you see what I mean. A bit tedious, but it works.
Right, this is the third battery now, and I hope it can last as long as I need it to. Just tighten these up. Try it with a washer on. What size is that? It is Pretty good for one minute. So there we go. Right, let's move it back. And we'll see if we can put the front on. Right. Lined up. Top. Right, so what I've done, I've done a test run here, put this back on, but I've moved it up to the um, winch as close as possible. Now obviously I don't want the handle fouling with the winch, so I want to try and give it a bit of space. Um, I'm going to put the winch in, sorry, I'm going to put the um, jockey wheel in now and see what happens. Should be alright, let's just check it out. nowhere near the um the winch so that gives me good movement gives me plenty of room yeah plenty of room i'll tighten that up that should be it really so there it is obviously i've got to strip it all down now because we've got to paint the bar um we're going to rub it down with a bit of um, sandpaper just generally or maybe even a wire wheel might do it clean it up and then spray it probably two layers two good layers of hammerite um, don't know where I can get the orange colour I might spray it I might spray it um, yeah I've got black I'll just use black anyway that's it really guys when it's all done no doubt I'll video it again because we're going to be using this let me put you back in the Hold a sec. So why am I doing all this? Well, I want to be able to tow the bikes behind the um, motorhome. There is an organisation, Motorhome Caravanners, which has got a separate section. Uh, go look them up, check it out if you're interested. And these guys 
they're into bikes bikers bike enthusiasts whatever you want to call them and what they do is they all meet up at a certain place um, and when they're all there they then organize maybe 20 30 40 50 60 mile run on the bikes well <laughs> that's got to be a good thing in it in the summer to ride to drive there have the comfort of your motor home and then go out on the bikes in a totally different area to explore that's got to be a good thing um, so that's the idea of it I don't know if it's gonna work we'll see how we go I'm hoping um, everything will be all right but time will tell on that one so that's it really um, I'll come back to you sit that come back to you in the probably in the spring about this because this is a different side of what I do with the workshop and the engines and stuff but I'll come back to you and let you know how we get on and we'll probably do some filming actually we might do some filming um, for, for me now it's bye bye from Gary's practical workshop um, hope you enjoyed this video I've got a lot of editing to do because there's some boring bits which I shall cut out and um, hope you enjoy it if you like it do subscribe do click put your remarks on the bottom oh question to everybody if you know a way of stopping this LED strobing with a GoPro 10 anybody anybody please send us a comment and let me know because I've tried all sorts of things on that note I should say cheerio I should stop waffling have a great Christmas and a happy new year and I'll speak to you in the new year bye for now